All right, here's what I'm up to today. Um, I had a light switch right here. We were originally going to open this door the other way. Honey Baby decided she wanted it to open this way, so I moved the light switch over to here. I did it by taking it back up through the ceiling and coming across and dropping it back down. Um, that seemed like the easiest way to do, and it worked out pretty well. Uh, the next thing I'm working on here is uh, these are the uh, cutoff switches for that bathroom sink in there. And you know that bathroom sink is is made in such a way where we can cut the water off and take it out when we get ready to tile the floor and such. And I wanted this to be really easy to get to. Um, so I put it right here in the wall and I want to have easy access to it. So what I did was I, I took an old cigar box and I cut the bottom out of it and I put a handle on it. And I'm going to take this old cigar box, I'm going to mount it right here on the wall. I'm going to bring it out enough so that the sheetrock will sit flush and fix it so that you can swing this up and throw those two valves and then it'll drop back down and close itself when uh, you're not using it. This will show. I'm not going to try to paint over it or anything. I just think it's interesting enough that I don't mind if it shows. And I've cut a couple of little brace pieces, one for the top and one for the bottom, so that there's more than just the uh, strength of a cigar box there. So I think that'll work out nice. I'm going to screw it all into place, test it, and see what I think. Okay, it's up here and it's in place. When I get sheetrock here, the sheetrock will sit back in there. You'll be able to open this without interfering with the sheetrock. Reach in here, throw these handles without any problem in order to shut that on and off. Um, I'm pretty okay with that. Okay, this is what we call the guest room. It's the room on the other side of the bathroom. You guys saw me put the bathroom sink in and everything. What we're going to do is uh, we're going to insulate that wall because otherwise if you're in this room, and someone's in the bathroom, they're going to be able to hear you, or vice versa. And just for the sake of privacy and to make people more comfortable, I just thought it'd be better to just throw a little four-inch insulation in that wall, make everything nice and quiet. You'll also notice there's a kind of a hole here. Of course, the sheetrock will cover that, but we just want it to be a little more comfortable, a little bit more private. This is the uh, cigar box door that I set up to be able to get to my switches. I'll throw a little insulation behind that. I boxed this on four sides to make it nice and nice and sturdy there. Um, next big thing I'm going to do is just clean all this up. Uh, anytime you're working on a house, there's got to be a place where you where things gather, and that's what this is. There's things in here that we're still going to use: uh, sheetrock tape, sheetrock mud, uh, sheetrock nails, such as that. But in order to work on that wall, I want to clean everything away from there. And I'd like to get it out of this room because Trish is trying to paint and redo this bed and make some nice little decorations for the wall. So everything's about to come away from that wall. I'm going to vacuum that, clean it all up. I'm going to leave up here the things that I'm going to need up here. I'm going to get out of here everything I don't need so that we have a, a nice clean space to work in. Once we uh, insulate and sheetrock that wall around the door, trim around the door, uh, it's going to be about done up here, and that's the goal, is to get it done. Okay, here's the wall, all insulated with my little door there where the uh, water switches, uh, water valves are. And uh, we're ready for sheetrock now. That'll be something we'll probably do next weekend. Get this room sheetrocked up. Honey Baby's going to paint that wall. Get the bed all set up in here. Okay, here's that same room after... Uh, after I got the sheetrock up, uh, Honey Baby will come in here and, well, we got to do the spackling and then she'll come in here and finish painting it. Right there is the uh, cigar box opening into where the uh, water switches are. I think that's pretty okay. Uh, everything looks pretty good. We didn't, uh, like I said, we got to do some spackling, but once we get it spackled and painted, should look good enough. Just thought I'd share that with y'all. You know, have a nice day.